513 here. It's about 11 or 12, 25. I need to head back to school in a minute, but I'm going to drain that gas tank into that before I go so I can feel a little bit of accomplishment today and I'll let you know how much gas I spill. Okay, so I actually didn't spill any gas. And remember what time it was I talked to you before? A few hours have passed. Um, and I actually just did that when I got home from school, so that's done. Now I'm going to come out here. It's not raining. It's fairly warm. It's about 66 degrees. I'm going to finish up these spoutings. I think I got this whole one here that goes along this end of the house, and the one in the back now should be fine. So I'm going to head out front, and I'll show you the kind of crap that comes out of there. So there is all the shit that came out of this little corner up there. All that. This is a two-gallon bucket. That's 25% full. Well, I have been having a blast out here. Good news is it hasn't quite started raining yet. All of that sludge is out of this little piece here. This had all overflowed and come down. It got dicked. And I, I actually used the, um, this is the pump faucet on this side of the house that comes from the creek. There's just a T or a Y on there. Um, but I ended up using the house water. I started off using the creek water over on the front of the house. And that water's dirty and I shouldn't be spraying that all over the house. So. So on the side of the house, where it doesn't matter, I switched to the clean filtered house water. So anyways, all that's clean now. So the whole front and the uh, west side is done. And I can't get up there, but I'm trusting that's not a problem. So uh, hopefully it's not. I am gonna hop out on the roof though and take a look at that little junction right there. And I might as well take a look at that too. And uh, we'll see if that's bad. With all the rain we had yesterday, my pump is completely underwater in the creek. I can't see it. All the wires, 220 volts, submerged. You can't see the pipe coming out of the water. Nothing. It is all underwater. I said that like five times, but it is. Um, look at this weeds. Oh, this is disgusting. I'll pick the stick up. That can stay. Um, so, I figured when I flip the switch, one, it's not going to work because it's not there anymore. Two, it's going to immediately short out because 220 volts positive and negative power is within inches just taped off underwater. Or three, it's going to work fine. Guess what? Option three, it worked beautifully. So I guess I did a good job taping it and securing it to the stake. It would be such a good idea to wear shoes when you're up on a roof like this, but I don't. So taking a look at this, this all looks clean. This is just pieces of the roof, you know, just little little flakes of the shingles. That doesn't hurt anything. So there's that. Everything out front is clean. I did get a little bit of stuff out uh, around the front bay windows, if we can look up here. Not a lot, but enough that it can plug things up. So that's been cleaned. So as far as I'm concerned, everything's done, except for the sunroom. And I got a little problem area out here. Notice the roof slants down. The spouting stays level, of course, with this part of the roof. It gets down to the point where I can't reach that, but look, there's a uh, downspout here that comes down and empties into this one, which goes down and empties into another one down at the corner and goes down. So I think I'm going to go grab the leaf blower and stand about where I am right now and see if I can just blow that crap down there and then go clean it up from there. We'll see how far I get. Cool views up here though. Check this out. We can see the creek pretty well from up here in the yards, nice, beautiful and green. There's one of the ones I cut. There's another one. There's another one. Come down to the front. As I get text messages, I clean this little area out here. Got a whole bucket full out of that. And then this has been cleaned as well. Right there. Freaking right. Gotta love still power. Only problem is I'm gonna have to go down and clean that shit up now. Yeah, all clean. Oh, friggin' right. Chips and salsa. That's an awesome snack here at 652. Should be eating dinner, but what's more fun than chips and salsa, right? Come on. Mmm. Friggin' right it is. All right, 11 o'clock. I'm going to finish this early tonight so I can get, finally get some good sleep. I like sleep. Uh, so we did the spoutings today. Brake pads are coming tomorrow, and tomorrow's Wednesday, which means it should be a good day. Got a video up on the E39 Source channel today, welcoming Andrew. So go check that out. I'm going to have another one going up hopefully tomorrow or Thursday. So check those out and I'll talk to you in 514 on Wednesday. Good night.